Right now, heavy rainfall possibilities around Wisconsin overnight this evening. Alex is tracking the storm and shares where the biggest impacts could be. Plus, Madison's top cop will be staying as the Chicago PD superintendent position has been announced. And today kicked off Madison Black Restaurant Week and how it's aiming to highlight Black-owned businesses in Madison. That's all coming up right now at 10. Another round of severe storms could cause a messy commute for those tomorrow morning. Heavy rainfall could cause some flash flooding in areas of southern Wisconsin. The storms have prompted an alert day to be issued in the forecast. And meteorologist Alex Hamilton joins us here in studio. Alex, when and where can we see these storms hit? Yeah, we'll be looking at those storms moving into the area later in the overnight, closer to daybreak, and then periods of showers and thunderstorms on your Monday. Some areas could see two to four plus inches of rain. We'll track where the heaviest band is expected at this point in time. We have had heavy rainfall over the course of the past couple right, of days, right. and we need all those drops. Some of our folks on our social media saying this is over the past couple days. Barbara's saying 0.3 in the eastern edge of Jefferson and Dane counties. Vicki saying they got an inch in Janesville. Again, oh, wow. this was a couple days ago. Two tenths in Portage. They're a little bit to the north, about an inch in Milton, and then just a tenth on the north side of Platteville. And I don't have very good news for southwest Wisconsin with the heavy rain. You could use some of that rain, but some of our weather models are not showing favoring portions of southwestern Wisconsin. Let's take a look at the alert day graphics here, folks. Parts of southern Wisconsin, I want to emphasize that for heavy rainfall, two to four inches in some areas. This would be Monday and Monday evening. Doppler track. Some of our folks at social media just say it's just a heavy mist out there now. It will get heavier than a mist as we go into your Monday. Look at some of these rainfall totals in there, Jalen. Look at that down towards Platteville. They're kind of in the green area. A oh couple spots didn't get some of that heavy rainfall over the past couple of days, and they're aching for some of those drops, but just maybe not four inches all at once, right? Mm -hmm. Flood watches to the east of Madison right now. That's where we're thinking in the first warm weather team that the heaviest of the rainfall will set up. Again, Areas of flooding are possible, especially those poor drainage and low-lying areas. We'll be keeping an eye on that heavy rain band. I'll show you a couple different weather model versions coming up in Maine weather as to just where that heavy rain may set up. All right. Well, sounds good, Alex. Thank you. Developing news tonight in the search for the new police superintendent in Chicago. It appears current Madison Police Chief Sean Barnes will not be Chicago's next police superintendent. Chicago Mayor Brandon Johnson announced today that Larry Snelling will take on the role. We have been waiting for the announcement since Barnes was named as one of the three finalists for the job a month ago. Barnes has served as Madison's chief of police since early 2021. Before that, he worked for Chicago's Civilian Office of Police Accountability. He was up against two longtime Chicago cops, Chief of Constitutional Policing and Reform Angel Navales and Counterterrorism Chief Larry Snelling. Just hours after the news, Chief Sean Barnes released a statement saying, I feel blessed to work for the Madison Police Department. These feelings never changed even as I applied for the superintendent position in Chicago. During this process, I continued to work with our department on proactive policing and community outreach. Dane County Sheriff Calvin Barrett, along with members of the Dane County Board of Supervisors, participated in a panel discussion about the future of the Dane County Jail. Three county supervisors, along with Sheriff Barrett, spoke to the state of the jail. With the funding of the jail already approved as of April, they were able to present as to why the jail was approved. The current conditions of the jail were described as inhumane by multiple supervisors. Concerns of racial disparity in the jail were main topics from the community. Get people involved at the grassroots because when it comes to advocating for changes in our criminal justice system, it, it really takes the involvement of local citizens to speak out about what they want to see. There will be another community forum next Sunday discussing criminal justice treatment and diversion. That starts at 6.30 and runs until 8.00. On this week's For the Record, Wish GOP gets involved with the ballot drop box lawsuit. The Republican Party of Wisconsin filed a motion to intervene in a lawsuit seeking to reverse a 2022 state Supreme Court decision banning the use of ballot drop boxes in the state. Last month, the Democratic law firm filed a suit seeking to reconsider the issue. While on For the Record, Wish GOP Executive Director Mark Jefferson said his party has a lot at stake. He also adds that they need to take their efforts of encouraging Republican voters to consider voting early or absentee to the next level. We want to stomp that out. We want to have basic uh, protections so that people can feel confident when they're voting early, that their vote's going to count, that people are going to handle ballots properly, and that they're 
they can feel good about the results. For the full interview with Naomi Coles and Mark Jefferson, you can find it on our website at channel3000.com. Today kicks off Black Restaurant Week in the Madison area, highlighting black entrepreneurs in the restaurant business and beyond. Our Brayden Raw spoke with one of the business owners about why this week is so special. In many ways, Muriel's place is more than just a restaurant. And that's the magic. <laughs> really, it was a mission. After the loss of my mom, she, she passed from breast cancer. Her name was Muriel Pipkins. Will Green started his youth engagement nonprofit, Mentoring Positives, almost 20 years ago. I took the M and the P and I created Mentoring Positives. One of the cornerstones, a frozen pizza and salsa brand that gives kids hands-on work and entrepreneurship experience. It's a small number of black entrepreneurs in our community and we need to grow that if we want to be sustainable and healthy. Green opened Muriel's Place in May. It's the first time they've had a brick and mortar restaurant for people to enjoy their freshly baked slices. They're joining 30 other food vendors participating in Black Restaurant Week, serving up specials and deals all week long. It takes time to get the word out for people to know who you are, and so it definitely has given us um, some new eyes. That's what we're wanting to do is really introduce new customers to our businesses such that not just during Black Restaurant Week, there are relationships that are formed. There are new favorite restaurants and, and, and entrees that are formed. And we really want these relationships to continue. The week's big finale, the Food Taste Jamboree, where around 50 local black businesses show off their products, both food and not. A really wonderful community event that attracts people from Iowa and Illinois and Milwaukee. But until then, Muriel's Place is ready to serve up limited edition specials and deals to friends friends new and old, all in honor of that one very special person. Reporting in Madison, Braden Ross, News 3 Now. You can find the full list of participating restaurants on our website at channel3000.com and check out the Food Taste Jamboree next Sunday from 2 to 5 p.m. Two feet, four feet old and young, a record number of attendees came out to the 10th annual Roll and Stroll for Pancreas Cancer today at the Capitol Brewery Garden. Honoring the former UW Madison Chancellor Rebecca Blank, this year over 600 walked, ran, biked, or rolled for the cause. Those attending celebrated the fight against cancer with live music, raffles, food trucks, and drinks. But most of all, it was an opportunity to help fund cancer research at the Carbone Cancer Center at UW Madison. It's just amazing support that we're having because we do not have so many survivors. They're not here to, to speak out about what they're going through with pancreas cancer. So we have all these people that are here that can spread the word and hopefully that can change those numbers, help some of those re researchers find earlier detection. If you missed the event today and still want to help fund the research of pancreatic cancer, you can visit our website for details on how to donate. Today, Wisconsinites gathered to celebrate a state staple, cheese curds. Curd Fest kicked off today at the Bree Stevens Field. Starting at 3 p.m. this afternoon, fans of the cheesy appetizer were welcomed to cheese carvings by Sarah Kaufman, better known as the Cheese Lady, as well as other family-oriented events. I love the community that gets behind it. Uh, me being from Wisconsin, I love cheese. How can you not love this? And it's awesome. A little bit of everything for everyone and family entertainment. It's just a, it's a fun day. If traditional cheese is not quite your taste, vegan cheese, cheese curds were also available. The vehicle enthusiasts here and far gathered in Belleville this afternoon for the 20th annual car show. The free entry allowed all participants to showcase their sweet ride. It wasn't only limited to cars, though. Different makes and models of trucks, motorcycles, and much more were allowed to be on display. Even with the rain in the forecast, it didn't stop the community from going out and enjoying what owners had to show. It's important because the community needs to do things like this to kind of revitalize the downtown area and get everybody together. It means a lot because, you know, everybody's true fans of cars and everything, so it's, it's a great thing to get together and do it. The first 100 cars were given dash plaques, and all food and beer proceeds went to the Belleville Community Club. The event wrapped up around 3 p.m. Still ahead at 10, we share a story about perseverance, how a Dane County arborist is working to create a garden for his church community. And Alex is back with a complete breakdown of the alert day if you're in your certified most accurate forecast. 
when our clean, shiny truck pulls up in front of your house. Yes! Everyone starts clapping because everyone is happy. And that's why they all start dancing. Woo! <laughs> Call 1-800-GOT-JUNK. America, it's time to gear up and get out there in a new Ford vehicle. And it all starts at your local Ford dealer during the Discover Summer Sales Event. Choose from a great selection of trucks and SUVs equipped with the tech and comfort you need to discover your best summer ever. With a large inventory in stock, now is the best time to trade in, trade up, and discover summer with Ford. Choose Flex Buy on a 2023 Ford Escape or Edge and get 2.9% APR financing for 66 months plus $1,000 Flex Buy cash. Only at your local Ford dealer. Oh, the kids? At your parents. I ate an hour ago because you completely forgot about the extended anniversary sale at Denver Mattress. Right now, save $200 on our Doctor's Choice lineup, any size, any model. Or check out the Summit Easy on the Wallet for only $299.99. Purchase any Tempur-Pedic and get a $300 gift. And score two Doctor's Choice pillows for only $69.99, plus five years no interest and free shipping. But hurry, the extended anniversary sale at Denver Mattress ends soon. Are you sweating over high energy bills? Windows drafty or broken? Champion is here to help. With our 70th anniversary sale, buy two windows, get two free. At Champion, we design new windows specific to your home's needs. Then they are built in our very own factory, installed by a team of professionals, and guaranteed for a lifetime by our best in class warranty. Buy two windows, get two free. Call or go online to book your free estimate at getchampionwindows.com. Hey, hey, you're tuned in to Better Halves. Skip, I love my hometown, and I want a health plan that feels the same way. So what are your favorite local date spots? Oh, um, yeah, I know, like, like all the date spots in Eclair. Ooh. Jane, I'm Steve from Security. I've lived here in Wisconsin my whole life, and that means I understand your health coverage needs better. By the way, Doug, it's Eau Claire. I have a dozen Eclairs in my dressing room. When our clean, shiny truck pulls up in front of your house, yes, everyone starts clapping because everyone is happy. And that's why they all start dancing. Woo! <laughs> Call 1-800-GOT-JUNK. On the Jennifer Hudson Show, Vanessa Williams keeps things in perspective. You just celebrated a birthday? It's a privilege. The older you get, the less you care about what everybody else has to say. I love that. On the next Jennifer Hudson Show at 3. You're watching News 3 Now at 10. If you've ever taking, taken on a landscaping project around your home, you may know what it's like and how it can be time consuming. An arborist in Dane County knows that better than anyone. His life's passion for nature is providing a space for his church community, which has been working on for five years. Kyle Pozorski met up with him this week to find out how his perseverance has gone a long way. Uh, I mean, it's hard to kind of picture, I guess, nowadays what this used to be like. Arborist Matt Duffy's connection with Hope Lutheran Church dates back to the 1800s. His great-grandfather owning a farm which used to sit just east of where Duffy is now growing a legacy of his own. It was just so much open space that wasn't really being utilized. In 2019, he saw what was then an expanse of green grass as an opportunity to create a space for his church community. And it just kind of has been snowballing ever since. Duffy's love for nature has taken him across the country to working in the Great Smoky Mountains, Grand Canyon, and Sequoia National Parks. Caring for nature, as it turns out, is a passion he says formed in his youth, continuing on through today. I got really excited about it. You, know, you get to climb trees, um, you get to run a chainsaw all day. And so that's kind of how a lot of this, you know, if we go way back, really started. Um, I realized that I have this passion for trees and nature. So when his adventures around the U.S. eventually brought him back to the Madison area, he decided to put his skills to work. And I thought, hey, let's just start planting some trees. Blossoming into a remarkable garden, which he hopes to serve as a community gathering space. I think always in the back of my mind, there was this thought like, hey, maybe we should actually turn this into a really, try and make it like an awesome garden, uh, gardens that people will come visit, whether they're from the church or not. 
Each year since 2019, Matt has spent more than 300 hours out here planting and maintaining the Hope Garden. He says the space behind Hope Lutheran Church has turned into a bit of an obsessive hobby. This is kind of taken over a little bit. And while he says it may be designed for the church and broader Dane County community to enjoy, it's more of a pleasure for him to be able to give back to the people around him. I may be a little bit frustrated with work or, you know, just life in general. Like, I come out here and just everything makes sense. Making sense of a passion rooted in nature. It's Matt's hope that eventually the Hope Garden will receive level one arboretum status. And while he's been working on it for five years, he thinks that it'll take 15 until it's finished. And as Alex mentioned earlier, there may be some rain for that garden. Let's get a look <laughs> at your first warm forecast. <laughs> yeah. Alex. A little rain, Jalen and friends, maybe a lot of rain for some folks for parts of southern Wisconsin. I want to emphasize that parts of southern Wisconsin. Alert day conditions for potentially a band of two to four inches to set up across portions of southern Wisconsin. This would be from Monday going into Monday evening. All part of the Cliff Notes version are the three things that you need to know. Showers and storms increase as we head towards daybreak. Periods of heavy rain and storms on your Monday. And with certainty, all areas will be breezy and cool, at least cool for this time of year. Let's break down what do we mean here by a flood watch for areas from Madison and points to the east. We're looking at some flooding possible, especially in poor drainage and low lying areas. Those are the areas that are most impacted right now. Currently, the first born weather team, we have our eyes on Madison and points towards the east. So this would be east and northeast of Highway 151 and I-94 for the best chance of that heavy rain. Although some of our weather models are updating and pivoting that heavy rain a little further to the west, which is something we'll keep an eye on as well. All right, future track showing the showers and thunderstorms by the time we get to that four o'clock time frame moving towards the east as we go into that morning commute could be a real wet heavy rain across much of southern Wisconsin with periods of showers and thunderstorms maybe even a couple of uh, heavier thunderstorms as we go into the Monday afternoon hours. The severe threat looks low because of the cool temperatures out there. But look at this off to the east, that rain pivoting over portions of southeastern Wisconsin. That could reinforce the rainfall totals there, which will look at those rainfall totals for us all in just a moment. Finally, by the time we go into your Tuesday, things will quiet down, be a beautiful day on your Tuesday. Now let's look at a couple of different versions. This is version number one, widespread one to two inches with that heavier band, to the north and to the east of Madison. Lesser amounts to the southwest over southwestern Wisconsin. Social media friends are saying we need that rain and I know you were missed out of these last rains. Hopefully you will get some of this rainfall as it moves into the area. At least decent appreciable amounts. You probably need an inch or more for sure over southwest Wisconsin to catch up to some of the other folks in southern Wisconsin. This is version number two. A little bit more over southwestern Wisconsin but the heavy area and targeting areas off towards the east of Madison. And this one just updated moments ago and even the National Weather Service in discussion that that heavy band could pivot more towards the west which would be something that we need to watch because then that moves that heavier band over more of south central Wisconsin including our friends over portions of southwestern Wisconsin that we need to keep an eye on. Again the severe threat is low because of the cool temperatures the clouds out there we unless we can heat up a little bit as this weather system moves in that threat should be mostly well to the south of the area. Well in good news at least thanks again Jacob for sending us this photo we showed it at the very tail end no pun intended here with a meteor shower looking that tail of the meteor shower of a meteor shower just kind of floating by thanks Jacob again McFarland for sending us that weather photo you can send us those weather photos folks at any time first warn at WISCTV.com if you happen to be a person that likes their cell phone Android or iPhone doesn't matter just load up the first warn weather app click the submit button and then we get those weather photos and we can show those photos here folks on air. Once we get through the alert day on Monday, a beautiful day, Jalen and friends. Oh, yeah. yeah, look at that. 80s then, on and off rain chances, but not looking like the heavy rain, at least not at this point in time like our Monday. But with certainty too, we got hot weather coming in the forecast with all this rain that goes into the crops. I've talked about this term called evapotranspiration. It's plant sweating, basically. Plants give up all that water, so it could be a really humid next week and if we get all of this rain. Yeah, but I, for the time being, we'll enjoy Monday and Tuesday with it. Well, maybe not so much Monday, but <laughs> at least Tuesday with yes. it being cooler and feeling a tad yeah. bit more fall-like or spring-like, depending on what the temperatures are. But as for those of you at home, with it being an alert day, make sure that you download our first one oh, yeah. app to stay up to date with, you know, all the potential 
things that might come with it. Yeah, absolutely. The, the flood watches, if we happen to do sneak a severe storm or two, pops right up on your phone. So I download it right now. All right. Well, sounds good. Thank you, Alex. Yeah. And as for those of you that will be playing football this summer, hopefully you can't avoid the heat. And still to come in 20 days, the Badgers kick off their football season against Buffalo. Hear from the team's starting quarterback, Tanner Mordecai, on how he views this team. That's next in Sports with Andrew. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Hey, stop, stop, stop. Found it. There's no such thing as out of bounds. Find adventure at the Lexus Golden Opportunity Sales Event. Get special offers on the 2024 NX250. When an appliance you rely on goes kaput, you can count on family-owned Brothers Maine, Southern Wisconsin's local appliance authority since 1938. With thousands of in-stock options, we have the brands you want at the lowest prices guaranteed. Even big box can't beat our prices. Our experienced team of appliance experts will help you make the right selection, and we deliver it fast and free to your home. What you need when you need it. Shop appliances you can bring home today at our Madison and Janesville showrooms. Feel like family. Brothers Maine. Which hotel? <gasps> Somebody say which hotel? I'm great at this. Dance your faves in the spa-like bathroom. Or enjoy local craft beers with breathtaking views at the Cambria. Book direct at choicehotels.com. Look, Mom, I found one. Oh, yeah, you did, but we need an ATM from our bank, unless you want to spend a small fortune in fees. <laughs> no, thank you. Banking with BMO means more fee-free ATMs than the two largest U.S. banks combined, including places like pharmacies and grocery stores. Saving money and more convenient. <laughs> Look at you being so helpful. What'd you expect? You're standing at a help stop. That's you. <laughs> that's me, at a desk. When a bank helps you get and stay ahead, that's the BMO effect. After you've been in a serious motorcycle crash, there's a lot you may need. Medical attention, help with your bike, and someone who could get you the justice and money you deserve. Unfortunately, you won't get that by calling the insurance company. They'll try to use the law to their advantage. Call Gruber Law Offices first. We've been representing injured bikers for over 35 years. We get results. Gruber Law Offices. One call, that's all. Try Tide Power Pods with 85% more Tide in every pod. Who needs that much more Tide? Everyone's gonna need more Tide. It's a mess out there. That's why there's 85% more Tide in every Power Pod. See? Uh. To everyone who's hungry for something special. Culver's is the place for us. Hi, what can I make fresh for you today? It's nice to be greeted by people who are glad to see you. And I appreciate that they use real ingredients like fresh beef and Wisconsin cheese. The frozen custard is so fresh and creamy, it tastes like it was made just for us. It's our pleasure. Just spending time with family, that's what mealtime at Culver's is all about. From Wisconsin with love, welcome, welcome to Delicious! delicious. They definitely sent you a GIF. It's pronounced GIF. EV, plug-in hybrid, hybrid. To each their own, electric. Find yours at the Lexus Golden Opportunity Sales Event. Get special offers on the 2023 ES300 Hybrid. Twenty days, that's what separates us from an unprecedented amount of hype and finally seeing what this new-look Badgers football team can do on the field. For starting quarterback Tanner Mordecai, this is not his first go-around, though. This is his sixth fall camp, but his third different school. So after a few weeks of camp, how does he see his squad? I mean, I'm, I'm fired up. I'm fired up to play with these guys. Uh, these guys mean, mean a lot to me. Uh, this culture, this program uh, means so much to me. And, uh, yeah, I can't wait to do this thing with, with them. I think in this fall camp, we've, we've grown together. Uh, I think that was a, something that we took away from Platteville, um, just team bonding, uh, growing closer. Like Mordecai, the new Badgers offensive coordinator, Phil Longo, has been down this road before. He's had massive success installing new offenses at schools in the last couple years, like Ole Miss and North Carolina. He knows the improvements he wants to see from his offense over the summer, and he says he's seen them. And so I was really excited to see them in August because I thought there'd be some considerable improvement. And we're light years ahead of where we are and where we were in the spring. 
Um, and we're probably as far along right now in our first August camp as we have been anywhere. And I felt that way in the spring, but I, I feel better right now. There's a lot more continuity here in August than there was in the spring. And after back to back gruesome season ending injuries, Wisconsin junior tight end Clay Cundiff medically retired from football today. In a statement on X, he said, I have proudly put pads on a jersey since first grade, but my body is now begging me to hang up the cleats. To the ice where a trio of national champions from the Wisconsin women's hockey team were selected to the USA Hockey Collegiate Select Team. Wearing the Stars and Stripes will be Vivian Jungles, Casey O'Brien, and Kirsten Sims who scored the game winner in the national championship game. She says everywhere rejoiced at the Packers preseason week one win, but maybe no one was more excited than Emmanuel Wilson. On the 14th anniversary of his father's passing, he made his NFL debut for the Pack on Friday. The undrafted rookie put on a show, rushing for 111 yards and a pair of touchdowns, including this 80-yard house call, possibly carving out a role as the Packers' third-string running back and doing it all in his dad's honor. Honestly, my cousin and my brother told me. I really didn't look at the date until they told me that uh, my first preseason game was going to be on the 11th. Um, like throughout the whole week, I was really like, dang, I really plan on the day my dad died. It's also a blessing to actually go out there and do what I had to do. I can't really explain the emotions, but I just know that he's proud of me for uh, reaching my goals and everything I did in life. April 1986. That's the last time the Brewers swept the Chicago White Sox, and today they'd try to break a streak that's almost twice as old as me. Freddie Peralta had the ball for the series finale. He's been lights out of late, and that did not stop today. Fastball Freddie tossed six scoreless frames, fanning a half dozen White Sox batters on the day, and that would give him 39 strikeouts in his last four starts. That would make the offense's job a whole lot easier. Top five, Andrew Monasterio turns up the volume. A rocket down the third baseline would score one, and the Brew would cruise to a 7-3 win. To the Duck Pond, where the Madison Mallards hosted the Green Bay Rockers in their first playoff game since 2021, bottom one, and Keenan Taylor sends one to the state border. What a monster moonshot. It would put the Quackers up two zip, but their bats, Jalen, went cold after that one. Rockers take game one. Game two is tomorrow in Green Bay. It is a must win for Madison. Going back to UW and their football team, I'm happy you got to speak to Tanner Mordecai, the quarterback. He's you mentioned he'd been around just a little bit. He was at OU. He got to sit under Jalen Hurts. He then transferred to SMU where he lit it up and played against some really good Huge competition numbers. there against University of Cincinnati, UCF, Houston. Now coming to the Big Ten with a lot of talent around him and a great coaching staff with Fickle and Longo. I'm expecting big things from him. Yeah, you see what Longo could do with other guys. You saw what, obviously, Fickles watched Tanner Mordecai play, playing against him in the AAC. Right. So it's going to be really, really exciting. A new era of Wisconsin football headed our way. For sure. All right, sounds good. Thanks, Andrew. We'll be back with more after this. This week's high V hot deals are Stamilt Red Cherries, just $2.48 a pound. Smithfield Bacon, just $2.99. And buy two, get one free on select Pepsi products all week long at hy V. Oh, the kids? At your parents. I ate an hour ago because you completely forgot about the extended anniversary sale at Denver Mattress. Right now, save $200 on our Doctor's Choice lineup, any size, any model. Or check out the Summit Easy on the Wallet for only $299.99. Purchase any Tempur-Pedic and get a $300 gift. And score two Doctor's Choice pillows for only $69.99, plus five years no interest and free shipping. But hurry, the extended anniversary sale at Denver Mattress ends soon. Looks like you've been sleeping well. Megan, he's back. The my pillow guy. And you're looking good. He's still feeling good. Well, just when you thought it couldn't get any better, we've got the best pillow ever. My pillow 2.0. I'm interrupting this commercial to let you all know that you have made MyPillow 2.0 a huge success. And because of your amazing support, we've expanded MyPillow's USA manufacturing and jobs. To make room for this, we're clearing out our percale bed sheets. And to thank you, I'm giving them to you at closeout prices. King size, only $39 a set. Queens, $35 a set. Full size, $29. And twin size, just $25. So go to MyPillow.com. 
MyPillow.com or call the number on your screen. Use your promo code to take advantage of this once-in-a-lifetime offer. Get these MyPillow bed sheets now. Once they're gone, they're gone for good. Wow, you've really made our dreams come true. Life's better when you're under our roof. It's... Because when you feel totally protected, you can enjoy the dreams you've worked so hard to achieve. Guess that's what American Family Insurance is for. He's the wise twin. I'm talking about Save up to 23% when you bundle home and auto with American Family Insurance. Get a quote and find an agent at amfam.com. America, it's time to gear up and get out there in a new Ford vehicle. And it all starts at your local Ford dealer during the Discover Summer Sales Event. Choose from a great selection of trucks and SUVs equipped with the tech and comfort you need to discover your best summer ever. With a large inventory in stock, now is the best time to trade in, trade up, and discover summer with Ford. Choose Flex Buy on a 2023 Ford Escape or Edge and get 2.9% APR financing for 66 months plus $1,000 Flex Buy cash. Only at your local Ford dealer. This week's High V hot deals are 8 ounce High V Choice Reserve New York strips, just $6.99. Red Baron Pizza, just $2.88. And Yo Play Yogurt, just 54 cents. All week long at High V. The Republican Party's historic link to Wisconsin, Thursday at 6. It's a special day here at News 3. Our very own Alex Harrington, it is his, it is his oh, birthday. Yes. Man, Alex, we appreciate you so much. You bring a, a ray of sunshine into the newsroom every single day. You come in, you speak, you say hello. <laughs> and Andrew and I, we went and grabbed some of your glasses that were sitting around the newsroom today <laughs> in honor of your birthday. So we, we got a little bit... Uh, something for you here with the with the cupcake, <laughs> and for those of you at home, I don't know if you can tell, but his his button here from our production team that they got him it says it is my birthday. Maybe so you guys could sing the, to him. And the tie from my aunt Nancy, my oh, little umbrellas awesome. and my raindrops. <laughs> okay. Well, since uh, weather is what you do best, let's cap off the night yeah. with what you do best. Yep. Alert day conditions on your Monday. Heavy rain setting up across much of southern Wisconsin. Two to four inches of rain in some spots. We'll keep an eye on it. All right. Well, sounds good. Thank you all for joining us. It's been